If you hate slicing bread because it makes you think of sawing or struggling, it's not you, it's your knife. We think a bread knife, or as we'll call it, a serrated knife, is one of the most important blades in your kitchen. We use them to cut every kind of bread, from big, crusty, rustic loaves to soft, crumbly challah. We use them to split tender cake layers and slice ripe, squishy tomatoes. And they're perfect for slicing through a big stacked sandwich, too. Bad serrated knives just make a mess. So we tested nine knives priced from about $20 to $200. We chose blades that were around 10 inches long because we've discovered that shorter blades just get lost in big loaves of bread and they make it much harder to do a neat job when you're doing something like splitting a cake layer horizontally. Now to test them, we worked our way through 50 pounds of tomatoes, 18 yellow cakes, nine loaves of challah, 30 rustic loaves, and nine towering BLT sandwiches that we loaded with extra fillings. We gathered testers who were both right and left-handed with different hand sizes and skill levels, and we had them rate the cutting ability and comfort of each of these knives. And we also kept an eye on how well they stayed sharp throughout testing. Some turned perfect loaves of bread into shaggy piles of crumbs, or they were so uncomfortable to use or so terrible at slicing that our testers begged us to quit halfway through. The best knives glided through any kind of food with minimal effort, leaving even neat slices. So what made the difference? The points on the blade. These knives use serrations along the cutting edge to bite into food that's too hard or squishy for straight blades like your chef's knife. The points sink in while the scooped out gullies in between reduce the blade's friction as it moves through the food. Less friction means it's easier for you to saw back and forth and cut through food cleanly. We took a close look at the serration patterns of our knives and we learned that there are two styles. The first style has no points. Instead, it just has rounded or scalloped serrations. The theory of these is that by rounding the serrations, more of them will hit the food at the point of contact. But that theory went bust in the test kitchen because we actually found that round serrations struggled the most. The other style is the classic pointed serration and these knives were much more successful. But some were better than others and we had a really interesting discovery. As it turns out, the best knives had the fewest serrations. Our favorite had just 30 serrations and the worst had 54. Now here's how it works. When you push down on a serrated knife, the force you exert is divided among the serrations. So the more serrations there are, the less power each one gets. And conversely, the fewer the serrations, the more power each one gets. The best serrations were also very deep and very pointed. And these work best because the force is also spread over the surface area of each tip. A narrower tip is going to have more force concentrated behind it. So it will have more power to bite into food. And that was important, especially when we sliced ripe tomatoes or tried to cut tall, fussy, slippery bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches into neat sections. Another thing we preferred, narrower blades. Our favorites had an angle of just 16 degrees or fewer from the very tip of the serrations to the top of the bevel running along the entire edge of the blade. Wider blades felt duller and took more force to push through food. Handles mattered too. We really preferred grippy rather than smooth handles because they felt more secure. And the best handle designs had what experts call affordance, meaning they felt good no matter which way you gripped the knife. Our favorite felt secure and comfortable whether we were cutting straight down through a loaf of bread or sideways through a cake layer. Now after all the slicing was done, we had a winner. It's called the Mercer Culinary Millennia 10-inch Wide Bread Knife. It aced every test and it stayed beautifully sharp. And best of all, it's a total bargain at just $22.